It's Chrissy K. Rollins here, and this was what was on my heart to share with you today. I thought what would be the most helpful, useful information to help uh, support you during the end of this year, and also to support you in where we're going to. And there's some really cool things happening energetically right now that I think would be helpful for you to be aware of. So right now, the time of this recording, it is the winter solstice. And what is the winter solstice? The winter solstice is the time in which, uh, as we all know, the days get shorter and shorter and the nights get longer and longer as we move closer and closer to winter. So the winter solstice marks the first day of winter. So congratulations, you made it to winter. And it also is the day in which the darkness is the longest and the light is the shortest. And this is why we started to celebrate around this time, because once we move past the winter solstice, we move to where the days start to get longer and longer and the nights get shorter and shorter till we build up to the summer solstice, which happens in June. So every year around the 21st of December is when we celebrate the winter solstice. This is when uh, cosmically things are lined up so that we have the shortest day. And then I hear that everything stays still for about three days before everything starts to shift, going back towards the light instead of into the darkness. So when we think about light and dark, there's a couple of things that come up. Uh, it can sound kind of ominous to talk about the darkness and it can sound really joyful to talk about the light, but these are just contrasting different differences. One's not better or worse necessarily. They need them both together in order to uh, have all of creation. So the only reason that the light is light is because we have the darkness there as a contrast and vice versa. So if you think about it, move it from like good versus evil or right versus wrong and into just different aspects of life or different aspects of yourself, we can think about the light being the aspects of you that are very true, authentic, genuine to who you are. And and it can be uh, the darkness we can see as the aspects of ourselves that we don't really like, the places where we don't want to take ownership, the places that we don't want to look, the places that hurt, the places that make us question things. And whenever we have the balancing of the dark and the light, then this is what we get the opportunity to do, to express more fully and shine more fully in our brightness, and also to discover and uncover and reconcile with these more dark shadowed places within ourselves. So moving forward, I would encourage you or invite you to consider that the darkness isn't something to be pushed away or something to try to be negated, but instead it's something to be embraced, understood, and ready to be evolved and to return back in to the light. So as we have crept closer and closer and the days have gotten shorter and the nights have gotten longer, energetically, that is going to stir up a lot of the darkness that's within, a lot of those shadow aspects within ourselves and within our society as well. It also helps to understand the energy of the cosmos and how all these different energies influence you so that you can align yourself more fully, not only with your authentic self, but with the natural flow and the, of the energy that's around you. So I hope that by now you can see how this energy that's been swirling as we come into the holidays has been setting you up for a really great change. And what's cool is that you're perfectly equipped for this change. You were made for it. You are here alive during one of the most exciting times to be human on planet Earth. And while it might not look that way on the outside, I assure you that is exactly what's happening and that you're fully equipped to navigate this journey ahead. Now, I have a special skill set in helping to guide people in navigating these new worlds and to understand how when you don't fit in with the world around you, you're here to create a new one. And maybe that looks like entrepreneurship. Maybe that looks like healing in a radical way. Maybe that looks like just really taking ownership over your life and daring to be true to yourself in ways that you just haven't because it hasn't been convenient or maybe you're too caught up in people pleasing, whatever it is. So if you would be interested in having some support in how to continue to navigate in this new world as your most authentic self and what that means for you, 
I encourage you to reach out for uh, us to get connected further. I have got an amazing holistic healing circle that's a place of support, of connection, of understanding, of clarification, and of course, of holistic healing, which just means you're able to put into place healing that cannot happen unless you consider the whole, your whole self, the wholeness of this earth, your place within it, your non-place within it, and allowing uh, the next level of your and inevitable, inevitable unfolding to take place. So I'm going to be doing this again, and we're going to have a holistic healing circle. And now we're just going to allow this healing circle to support the integration process so that you can relax into this unfolding that was underway so that you don't have to continue to hustle and try to strive and get to and always be working to this place that you desire to be. And instead, you can begin to recognize it, understand it, call it into your world and make it part of your day-to-day -day life experience. Very tangible, very practical, and basically just going to lay out a brand new set of guide rules for you to play by so that you can have a completely different life experience and allow your habits and the way that you view yourself and your part within this world to catch up to the reality that is already underway, which is this grand unfolding that you're a very important part of. So if you'd like some support in navigating these unseen realms within this physical world, definitely reach out to me, find out more about the Holistic Healing Circle, and you can also connect with me over on Patreon. I've got a great community that is being built over on Patreon. There's different support levels starting as low as $3 a month that you can plug into extra energy updates like this. You can plug into extra uh, support trainings and video trainings and um, Q and A's and group support, all different levels there that you can plug into if you're interested in taking a deeper dive into this holistic way of living. Regardless if you want to move forward staying connected or not, if there's anything further that I can do to support you or your journey or someone that you know, definitely reach out to me. I would be honored to do so. And I hope that this energy update was helpful. Know that as these shifts and these uh, bumps along the way happen as we're shifting into this new world, just know that they're part of the plan. They're part of the plan. And what we're doing really right now is just witnessing the continual letting go of what was. And it has to be cleared out. So it's going to feel like shakeups. It's going to feel like hiccups. It's going to feel like a struggle. And it's going to continue to be a struggle until you realize these essential uh, skill sets that you have within yourself in this essential way of viewing life. And I'm actually going to be dropping some more information next week in a couple of webinars that you can plug into. If you um, just visit my YouTube channel, you can go look for Chrissy Key Rollins on YouTube, or you can go to bit.ly uh, Chrissy TV, C-R-I-S-S-Y TV. Regardless of how we connect, I hope you have an amazing close to your year, a wonderful start to the new year. As those hiccups happen, just know that you're fully equipped for the journey ahead. And if there's anything I can do to not make your life easy, because there's just no easy way to go through this. But if you want it to be a little easier, even when it's not so easy, I'd love to connect with you further. And uh, I just love you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I look forward to your feedback. So let me know. Drop some comments, hit reply, however it is that you're engaging with this. Reach out and let me know. Was this helpful? And do you have anything to add? Because you might know a little bit more about this stuff than I do. All right. So much love to you. Have a great one. Merry Christmas.